I've mentioned safety a number of times and it is something that's extremely important to me. When a patient is having an elective procedure where they are well to start off, it is super important to make sure that they stay well at the end of the procedure and down, down the track as well. Uh, and that is a very important um, aspect of quality control from my end as well, to make sure that I'm doing the right thing by this person, that I'm ethical in my recommendations. So in terms of breast implant selection, uh, there is a ongoing debate about safety of these implants and the type of implants that are safe to use. The short answer is not all implants are created equally. Implants have been around for many, many years, since the 60s of last century. And they have gone through many iteration in that time frame and there have been many, many studies when various scares have come across looking at safety profiles. In general, the answer is implants are extremely safe, but some implants are safer than others, which is why our regulators have made the decisions that they have. When you've gone, when we've seen patients develop some very rare complications that should be in the millions and now we're seeing them in the hundreds of thousands it's a bit of a jump so for something that is extremely extremely safe previously or perhaps it's never been looked at or documented so we're just not quite sure at the moment where the safety profile of some of these implants what i think is great is that at the moment we do know we have data on a number of implants that we know are safe and the companies that are developing implants are also focusing on developing more of these type of implants. So we are working very much with these uh, companies that we know have a track record, that have data to show the results. And when we talk to patients, we, I have a discussion with them about the safety profile and what the risks are as we know them today. And it's important for me to stay up to date which I do. I spend a lot of time uh, in my private hours to stay up to date on this information, conferences, web webinars and so forth, um, talking to companies directly. So we know we have this data that I can give a well-educated answer to my patients about the safety profiles. And then at the end of the day, it comes down to the patient themselves and how risk averse they are in terms of what risks are they prepared to uh, accept. I guess it's to put it in perspective is in terms of risk profiles uh, are you so risk averse that you'll never take a flight on a plane because you're worried about a plane crash or would you only uh, would you only take a car to wherever you go or go by boat if it's overseas um, you know would you cross the road when there's traffic lights are not on or something of that scenario so it all comes down to the patient's own risk aversion and when we put it in perspective well, this risk is similar to kind of this risk that you take every day. People kind of look at it differently and they say, okay, actually, maybe that's not as bad as it sounds. Some patients may say, actually, you know what? I don't want any risk. Tell me about the implants that have zero risk. Straight away, when we have started our conversation from safety, we know all of these implants are out. This is what we're talking about. And this is kind of what we're going to be using. So starting from safety first, I believe is really, really important and it essentially determines the rest of this discussion and the consultation and the choices that the patient make. That's my approach.